Hey everyone, it is my birds and I coming at you from Wisconsin. I want to pull my hair out and that's because I'm going to cover Married at First Sight, Brennan and Emily. I don't know how these so-called experts believe that they are picking the right people because I can tell even from watching them their interview process, them talking with family members, and especially when they're up at the altar and they see the person who was chosen for them, I can tell immediately after that something is just not right. Brennan is a self-righteous, P-R-I-C-K. I've never seen anyone less caring and disconnected or, and, I've never seen anyone more uncaring and less disconnected than him. And she was taking leftover scraps, saying uh, she had her rose-colored glasses on, believing that the exer experts made the right choice, that it was going to work out. And when she was in that horrific accident, because he held her hand and cared for her, that he was just turning the corner. That's the first thing, time I think he actually touched her was when she was in that accident. I can't, I, if I saw a stranger in an accident get hurt, I would show them. I would run to their side and hold them and say, it's going to be okay. She's got to figure out why she's accepting the bare minimum and why what he did gave her a glimmer of hope that everything was going to be okay or they were turning the corner. Emily, just take a break. Stay single. I don't care that you didn't have a relationship before. You've had relationships with other women in your family. you got to raise your standard regarding what you expect in a future partner. Brennan, I can't stand you. You make me sick. I, you're just, You're just ugly on the inside, so... I can't stand you. I hope you'll probably find someone, simply someone looking for to to date someone who was quote unquote famous or on television. That's your only hope. But I, <laughs> I can't stand. Oh my gosh! I'm watching the finale where they sit down and choose one another. I'm in the middle of them talking. <laughs> Emily, you gotta find your voice. Don't settle. I, I, I don't know what the outcome is, but I know that you did not stay together and it was probably his choice. And I don't know. I don't know who made the decision first, but God, for the love of God, that's it. I'll be back.